Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Antena Ayanso. I'm one of your professors in the business analytics stream of your MBA program uh, at Kuduman. So this is a short introduction to uh, the stream, uh, business analytics, uh, and a roadmap uh, for you to make an informed decision. So let us first understand uh, whether this field is in fact uh, limited to a specific uh, stream or specialty. If you clearly look at the evolution, uh, this is more than a specialty, primarily because it is a convergence of a number of traditional fields with advances in technologies and techniques to address some of the challenges we are dealing with, primarily from the data evolution and the data revolution. So the field in general draws ideas and techniques from multiple other traditional disciplines, the likes of IT or data management, which is often the umbrella field within a business context. And then you have mathematics, management science, operations research, when you talk about prescriptive analytics or optimal uh, solutions or optimization or simulation. You also have computer science uh, primarily uh, with the advances in uh, pattern recognition, um, machine learning, deep learning, and artificial intelligence. And of course, you have to know your statistics, and in a more rigorous sense, econometrics, because at the end of any data analytics exercise, you have to validate your results. And therefore, without statistics, you can't make uh, a scientific conclusion or you can't provide uh, validation. So what is our approach uh, for training in this specialization? We designed this specialization carefully. Uh, because you have to understand you come from an MBA program. This is not a one year data science or a one year uh, data analytics specialization. There is often confusion and misunderstanding by drawing some parallels with other programs that you may see uh, at Queens, at York. These are primarily uh, data analytics programs. So all the courses are arranged from beginning to end for the purpose of training you in one year uh, data analytics but you are coming from an MBA training and we also have a number of electives that needs to be taken together. Now, there are advantages and disadvantages to it. The advantage is you will be graduating with uh, a very good integrative knowledge of business analytics or what is really required to be a business analytics professional. As the saying goes, they say in, in, in business, you have to be business uh, analytics professional before, before, be, before you become a, a data scientist, or you have to be a data analytics professional before you become a data scientist. Why? Because the bigger picture, the reasoning skills come from your training as a business analytics professional. At the end of the day, you are going to be a problem solver. You're not going to be a data engineer or a programmer. There is fanciness when people look at programming tools like R and Python, but you really have to be careful how you take this information. It's good to know programming language, much like learning additional language like French, German, etc. You have an advantage, of course. But if you fix yourself primarily on programming without really understanding the techniques of machine learning, the techniques of solving problems, but you are not really useful in any domain environment. So what we hope to give you in this program is primarily to train you to be a business analytics professional. And when you look at the employment world of today, the higher up you go, the more project management mindset you develop, the more people-centered you will be, and that doesn't come without understanding most of the business fundamentals. Knowledge of marketing, knowledge of strategy, all combined in the process of understanding most of the techniques you learn in this class. So programming is abstracted out in our training, which means we hope to give you what is needed to solve the problem. So we use component-based, visual, visualization-based 
programming environments like SAS Enterprise Miner and a few other open source tools on the site. With that, you will not be losing what it takes from A to Z in solving problems using some of these machine learning techniques. And many of our students who have come out of this mindset have quickly mastered R, Python, and a few other data cleaning and data gathering techniques. Why your learning curve becomes so fast? It is because now exactly you know what to do with your programming language. But if you do the reverse, if you get obsessed with the programming and try to master the programming language without understanding the field itself, then you really don't know what you are doing. And in fact, if we do that, and as many programs have clearly shown, you end up uh, uh, with uh, just the technical core without really having the bigger picture or the analytical insight about the field. So our courses begin with three carefully designed uh, courses, uh, primarily on data management and then understanding in the first course, most of the core machine learning techniques and the tools with them. And then we move into a more advanced data analytics training uh, and we will pick up techniques we are we are unable to to learn in the intro course in the advanced course and we will put more of the weight on unstructured data management or text analytics so those are the three required courses and you do have to take these three required courses to major in this uh, specialization and then you have electives like other streams and our electives have now expanded. In fact, you are the second batch. If you uh, declare a major now, the second or the third batch, uh, you have more options, uh, but the requirement for additional electives will be two. Some of these courses are offered in accelerated summer program. I think the e-business will be uh, offered like that, but the others will be offered in spring and fall term. And depending on your background, if you come from a strong IT background, I encourage you to uh, evaluate the courses and make the right choices. Your choices primarily should focus on your weak side and how you can boost that weakness through additional courses or additional uh, training in these areas. If you come from a strong IT, maybe even you can take uh, some of the operations electives. If you come from a strong quantitative background, I strongly recommend that you take more IT classes. If you haven't had IT classes, you should take as many IT electives as possible as long as your course selection allows you to do. Let me talk about the software environment a little bit again. Uh, like I said, we focus on component-based uh, programming uh, for this program because we want to make sure that the weakest student coming to the program can still come out with decent training in business analytics, with the ability to solve problems using some of the techniques that are popular in the business domain. And as I said earlier, the vast majority of our students are capable of extending some of the programming knowledge uh, to additional training. And to help you with that, we have a, a very good ecosystem, student clubs, uh, more than one, uh, the Datatone and the DASA. Uh, they offer a number of workshops in coordination with the Center for Business Analytics. We will be able to bring uh, people uh, who can train you, uh, give you uh, a beginner, uh, sometimes even a more advanced training in some of the software environments. And the vast majority of uh, our students have taken advantage of this training. And some of the teachers you will find in this workshop are the ones who are in exactly the same spot, the same position like you are, with zero programming in some cases, in some of the students you will meet uh, as your TAs, some of the workshop leads, uh, uh, and then you will see how you can approach uh, your, your, your training in the program environment as well. This is an area we get most of the questions and I can't emphasize it enough. This field is not about programming, but I cannot say at the same time you don't need programming, but don't get obsessed with uh, programming. At the end of the day, we are training you to be a problem solver, not a programmer. The other advantage you have in this stream uh, is uh, by the time you graduate with uh, required courses, we give you uh, a joint SAS and the Goodman School of Business certificate for the completion of courses in business analytics, which means you really don't have to go and take the certified 
uh, data analytics certification program from SAS and they charge you money. During COVID, they made that training and certification free for students as part of their corporate uh, uh, responsibility and also academic partnership. Uh, but, you know, at some point they may still have to charge you, but to avoid anyone from going and paying for the SAS uh, certified modeler training, we uh, got our courses, all of our courses certified by SAS. And for that reason, they trust that we use a term long project and they give you this uh, certificate with a signature from SAS and a signature from Gurman uh, uh, upon your graduation. So by the time you take your MBA diploma, you also get a certificate, uh, uh, which is a joint certificate between SAS and Gurman. We also have a base SAS program in training uh, every year uh, in the fall term. Uh, those of you who want to learn base SAS programming, you can join. There is a subsidized fee, very, very low fee uh, to be able to uh, uh, get trained in the in the programming environment and then take the exam uh, with an additional opportunity to get an additional certificate. We also have a number of partners uh, who can give you guest lectures, including workshops in different programming languages from time to time. And uh, as long as you stay focused uh, and engaged in many of these workshops, it gives you additional or supplementary training uh, in the program. And these are very, very important because by the time you learn the core of the material, you can easily handle most of these program environments. So just to show you uh, what this uh, joint certificate looks like. So this is a joint cert certificate. As you can see, both SAS and Goodman logo is on it, and you will be able to receive this upon your graduation. Let's talk about job opportunities. Now, like any other field, it is not entirely dependent on the degree itself. Just because you have the degree, you get a job. And that's not only the case for our stream, in any other stream, as a marketer, as an HR specialist, there are a number of personal skills that you have to bring. So that's all I can say uh, to you, and I will be sharing this slide uh, to the program and also to most of your uh, introductory course instructors. And if you have any questions, you can reach out through your current instructor in 5P09, or you can directly uh, contact me 